so I am here at the Apple Store in Irvine Spectrum Center waiting for my appointments at 11.40. Um, planning to trade in my iPhone and I'll to get the 12. And for that reason, I'm doing a backup right now on this. Not sure you guys can see it, but yeah, it's about 10 minutes. And then, uh, then I'm going to try it in. I basically this used to be more than a thousand dollars. Right now, only half price left, and it's only worth uh, five hundred something. And it's really sad. After two years, the price is just basically not that excellent anymore. But in order to find better ones, I have to um, upgrade it. And the service, the experience in here with the girl helped me out, it wasn't that great because she was a little bit rude. So this is the upper floor, the waiting for my appointment. And this is the new iPhone Pro Max, iPhone Pro Pro, and the mini one. So you must be wonder why did I choose the iPhone 12 Pro instead of iPhone 12. So I just want to list it out all the functions in here so it's easier for you to compare. Since I am doing YouTube videos and I need a bigger storage and also better quality of the cameras. Also I love taking photos for that reason I uh, was willing to pay more in order to get a better quality for that. So for the iPhone 12, it's starting from $699 and also have six colors in total for them. And it's just also a smaller screen from 5.4 inches or 6.1 inches all screen OLED display and 5G, 5G cellular and then 814 Pionic chip and advanced dual camera system. Lastly, they also have the competitor compatible with MagSafe accessory. That's basically the functions of iPhone 12. And I'm going to the iPhone 12 Pro starting from 999 is 300 extra compared to the 12. And then the screen from 6.1 or 6.7. Similar uh, functions about the cellular and the Pionic chips. The difference is for the Pro camera system, they also have the telephoto and three little dots on the back of the camera and LiDAR scanner for night mode portraits and next level for AR. And lastly, the same thing with the MagSafe accessory with that. So yeah, since I have so many problems before for the exporting my videos and it's time consuming, I have to keep delete, deleting and then repeating the process and sometimes it takes two days for um, those videos to be exported. For that reason, I am willing to pay more in order to get a bigger phone and camera. Uh, not the Pro Max though because it's way too bigger than my face and sometimes it's not fit with my pockets and my wallet and my hands. So that's the reason the Pro is perfectly good options for this. So hopefully it helped for that. Because she added in the trade-in and brought it down to 19, now it's saying 42 or 41, sorry. Mm -hmm. Is the trade-in Maybe it just doesn't show there. The trade-in's there. Um, it's not added as a down payment. Oh, it auto pays. Fifty-six on both. This is the process of them applying the screen protector to a new iPhone. I always buy the new protector at Apple, not on Amazon, because if I break it, I can uh, register my screen protector code to the third party so they can resend me a new one without purchasing. And then I can bring to Apple Store and they can replace it to me 
uh, free at the same time. So it's just my recommendation for you that you can just purchase that at Apple instead of Amazon to save your money. About how to submit a claim with Belkin. So I usually tuck it inside here. And then I always just press this guy downwards. And then I use the reflection just to see if there's any dusties. Up and down. And then I always press down and then pull up to help like adhere it even more before I pull it out. There. And then just a quick pass around all the edges. Okay. Ready for lunch. Can I help? Yeah. Um, Where you at in the process? We just finished the... Uh, Welcome to you. Alright. Swipe to open. English. Set up. Manually. It didn't print. Apple Store. I'm gonna throw this away. Fold in, I mean, pay in full. So just erase all the content and setting. Mm -hmm. Erase now. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so excited. I want to show you that I just purchased a new iPhone 12 Pro. And I have been waiting for this because I've been using the 11 Pro Max for the last two years when I bought in 2020. And um, so then everything has been changing so much. And right now I came back to the Apple store and they have updated new stuff. And I'm so excited to share with you guys what I learned from there. And also at the same time, since so it's new and I haven't put the case in here so that is what i'm going to do right now to show you and uh, the color i bought is a uh, gold you know i train in my iphone 11 so the price for this has dropped significantly from over 1200 or a thousand dollar to really low and for that reason, I'm about to show you the accessory that I purchased go with it because first of all, it's protect the phone if you accidentally drop it. Um, that will protect your phone from being cracked and damaged and everything like that. At the same time, I bought Apple Care Plus uh, for thief and loss. For that reason, if for, you know, unlucky thing happened my phone got stolen from somebody or I forgot in somewhere um, as long as my iPhone find my iPhone is on I will able to get it back from Apple within uh, less than 24 hours if I message them before 3 p.m. Uh, PDT time so yeah let me show you what I purchased for the accessory Ta da so in here um, yeah the, the I mean the box for iPhone is really thin right now and I don't know for some reason they mentioned that um, they don't have the cord anymore for the charger but if you buy iPhone 11 you will have that cord which is the one I'm using right now uh, maybe they try to save uh, the accessory for that and um, only the I've the cable itself so that's why the box is extremely uh, shorter or smaller than Eli iPhone 11 that's the difference that I can see and in the box right here only the iPhone and it look like this so yeah it's brand new but yesterday from Irvine Spectrum Center after um, signing everything in and also this is the case iPhone 12 uh, Pro uh, they have so many colors for it's like and so on litter litter and then um, you know black white yellow pink blue 
uh, light green stuff like that but I will go with the clear case first of all because I only bought the gold color so you know if you use the color case like the other one it just basically will cover the actual iPhone so I don't think it look nice so that's why I chose this why is it so difficult to open all right just give me one sec so I'll be back okay finally opened successfully and this is the case look like it's really simple and it's white um, it's clear and this is all the manual instructions come with it and also magnus save um, as you can see right here this is the back how it look like um, let me open it and oh for this basically i will see fingerprints everywhere because i already see it one so far right here and let me clean my hand before putting it into my iphone i want to clean everything so i finally put the case in and right now it look clean and new and fresh i don't know it's like have a lot of fingerprints in here i think i should constantly cleanse it because i don't like finger and then it's just really hard to avoid it next one i'm going to show you one of the newest uh, accessory that iphone just released maybe i think this here this is the iphone battery pack also magnet safe with this uh since i asked them yesterday uh it's like a um, backup for your your battery if you uh, basically ran out of it and this costs $99 as you can see in the box right here um, for the most convenient I love go hiking and sometime I ran out of the battery because I love taking photo I love taking pictures especially if I working on my YouTube channel right now I vlog and stuff like that it's just really run out the battery really fast and with this uh, as if I don't remember it's wrong I can use it up to a couple hours, maybe six hour max. It depends on how you fully uh, charge it before. Um, at the same time, let me open it to see how it look like behind your iPhone. Ta-da! So this is how it look like. And it's, they, I think they have different color, but the standout color will be white. And this is how it look. Let me open it. How's it look in the back? Exactly the same with my iPhone case in here. So, and I think you can use the same or any any materials as long as with attack with your iPhone. So let me do it. So this is how it look. Um, and then yeah, it's not going to drop, but it's a little bit heavier than it expected. Oh, okay. So when you put it in, it will be charged like that, and iPhone can charge approximately 90% while using say battery pack. Um, it said it's charging right now, but on the top of it, they don't show the battery or charging if you pay attention. Because usually when we charge our phone, it will show that um, icon that it's charging. But in here it's not, so. I don't know. Yeah, it's not showing charging anything, but let me take it out to see what it show. Okay, it's not showing anything. Let me try to put it back. Maybe should I have to turn it on or something? Um, I really don't know if it's this fully charged. I gotta double check because sometimes you need to um, fully charge this before using it. Don't use Magnus battery pack or the USB power adapter in wet locations such as near a sink, bathtub, or shower stall, or and don't connect or disconnect with wet hand. Disconnect the Magnus battery, the cable, or the power adapter if any following condition exists. Da, da, da. When using Magnus Save Battery, remove metallic case and avoid blazing metallic four inch objects. 
Ki, Koi's battery, da da da, as they interfere with charging or become warm enough to cause discomfort or injury if your skin comes into contact with them. And this is pretty much what I purchased yesterday. I will actually share with you more functions and what I learned uh, at the Apple Store when I talk to them. But right now, I'm going to throw this away because I don't think I need it. But I will keep the iPhone case for sure because it looks nice and fresh. Also, the battery pack uh, magnet safe in here. Uh, one of the most important thing is uh, knowing or register for my quarantine for the um, the screen protection protector because if some for some reason if it's cracked, I can request for a new one without any uh, additional charge from the third party, not from Apple. And after receive the package from them, basically I can bring the new screen protector to the Apple store and they can reinstall for me for free. How much does it cost that I purchase the iPhone 12 Pro in total? Then I have so many additional fees for that uh, because I want to make sure that when I train in next year I have uh, good protections and get the full amount for the train in with no damages so for that reason I purchased a few items in here that I'm going to list out to you based on the receipt that I received from Apple um, first one I purchased the ultra class bar for the iPhone 12 Pro cost $39 95 dollars for this if i have any damage i just request uh through their third party website so i can send my new one as i mentioned a couple of times earlier on the video so i can send me a new one and i could just go back to the apple store and replace it the second one is the iphone case max safe uh, they have the clear circle in the back um so i just put it in for the accessory later and that one costs 49 dollars the third one is the Magnus Safe Battery Pack. For that one, it costs $99. Since uh, they can charge my phone, um, and usually I don't need to have any cable. I just put behind the back of my phone. With the traditional iPhone charger, you always have to need a cable go with it. Sometimes it's not convenience and you put in a backpack and just the cable just everywhere so this one um the back of the phone and you're good to go third one is the iphone pro 12 um so the minimum i mentioned earlier earlier was 128 gigabyte and a gold color and that cost 999 dollar and they have two options for apple care but i chose the best one for uh loss and thief for the 12 Pro this time is 269 per year for two years and I train in I mentioned 540 so the total after they check it in everything with the crack the buttons the device and all that all the stuff that they need to check it out so the total with the tax 7.75 percent in Irvine so total for the phone is a thousand seven dollar ninety four cents. I don't pay for the full amount because last year I paid for the full amount because I did not qualify for the installment payment. Since for some reason the Apple card didn't go through, so I paid full price last year. But for this time, since I had the Apple card, I told them that I would refer install the Apple card monthly installment. So after reductions, everything, um, the totals for that is 876. And um, they break down in here for me is $49 for the iPhone. And then uh, 12 payments will be $4 per month. Uh, for the battery will be $8.25 for 12 months. And for the goal is 19.12 per month, up to 24 payments. And then also the last one is the Apple Care for the Pro, eleven twenty dollar 
$11.20 per month up to 24 payments. So that's pretty much for uh, the installment payment. And then the convenience of the Apple Care with thief and loss proof of coverage. They mentioned in here on the email that if I purchase this, I just can contact the Apple support. And Apple Care with thief and loss coverage is active and will ultimately adjust to two years from the day I purchase and activate my iPhone. So the coverage includes up to two incidents of the accidental damage and up to two incidents of thief or loss every 12 months. So each incident is subject to a service fee of $29 for screen damage, $99 for own other accidental damage or a deductible of $100 for the night for a thief or lost claim. After a couple weeks so far that I purchased and been using, I'm really happy with the new phone. It's just really nice, convenient. Um, it's actually similar to the 11 Pro Max, but since it have a bigger storage, so I'm just really uh, feel confident and <laughs> export all my videos and really fast and just like that, even like, Sometimes I have a, a video up to one hour, it still go really well and I can download so many apps. That's the, the convenience so far and also the pictures stand out really beautiful. Um, and so far I enjoy all the accessories that I purchased and I think um, I will hopefully pay this off as soon as possible. So when the 13 come out, I can get that and hopefully I can show you guys the 13 if they come out. To be honest, I feel bad for the people back in Vietnam that it's just really difficult for you guys there to actually return the iPhone if you don't like it. But in the US, uh, you can return the iPhone after purchasing up to two weeks for any certain reason that um, you can bring it back to them and request for a refund. But to be honest, when since you already train in the iPhone Pro Max or your previous phone that you don't use anymore to get a new one, um, it might be difficult. So make sure to ask in advance. But hopefully Vietnam in the future they will have that or have Apple Store so you guys can easily purchase new iPhone not by um, like people resell anymore. So you guys can get that all features. One more thing that I learned for this, that for the iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 12, you actually can use the additional actual SIM card insert to your phone. So you have two numbers at the same time and you need to choose the primary and your secondary on the settings. So the first one will be your eSIM and the second one will be your actual SIM either work number or personal or whatever number that you have to use. So you can uh, text on one phone and that is what I learned through the purchasing process. So if you want to learn more about that, maybe you got to go online and figure it out. I don't really know, but that's all I uh, figured out from what he mentions. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and nothing too crazy about this. I don't think any much different just because of the shapes and uh, the style, but I feel like it's a combination of iPhone 5 and 12 but looking forward to see iphone 13 how's it look like and we'll update that in the future